quite simply, everyone in football knows what you're referring to when you talk of El Clasico. They're the two most successful sides in Spain with such passionate fans. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action from the Bernabeu as Real Madrid face Barcelona. They are the two foremost teams in Spanish football, Real Madrid and Barcelona, and they're getting ready to face each other here at the Bernabeu. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, can't wait for this one. No, nor can I, Derek. They don't come any bigger than this, do they? The two giants of Spanish football. The atmosphere is incredible inside this stadium. Let's hope we see a top-class game as well. dissect the Real Madrid side Thibaut Courtois is in goal Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Eder Militao in central defence Vinicius Junior starts with Rodrigo out wide and the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe and here's the starting 11 for Barcelona well on paper they look a very balanced team the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward otherwise they might just lack a bit of penetration So the match is underway. And space to cross it. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Balde. Danny Olmo with it. Delightful pass. Oh, great defending. Lucas Vasquez. Aurelien Chouameni. And showing fine vision. Rodrigo. Now with Bellingham. Well, he's been ruled offside. Alex Balde, Pedri, a world-class talent, that would be a good description for Vinicius Junior, what might we see from him today? Well his pace is going to be key today against a well-drilled defence, he has the ability to break it down with his dynamism, let's hope he plays well today. Now he must favour the cross. a big chance for Barcelona to take the lead but they've been thwarted by a brilliant save from the keeper magnificent stop Rudiger Aurelia Chouameni doing well to win it back what can they do from here 
Vinicius Junior. What can Real do from this position? And angling it back. Mbappe. Magnificent challenge to win it back. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Danny Olmo. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Another classic example of how to intercept. Aurelia Chuameni. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Really is a lovely example of how to pass the ball. Mendy. Barcelona a little wasteful in possession. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw in. Lewandowski. And he keeps going. And that will be a Barcelona ball. Fruitful looking attack. Lewandowski. Really good build up, but no end product. Mbappe. Rodrigo, the ball with Lucas Vasquez, Bellingham, Lucas Vasquez, and quick thinking defensively, Rafinha, and that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. with Barcelona here. Kunde. Danny Olmo with it. Jules Kunde on the ball. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. Well, unrealistic to expect Vinicius Jr. will dominate every single match he takes part in. Room for improvement from him with regard to the second half here? Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the... underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half Pedri and it's with Inigo Martinez Rafinha in the middle oh well, that's a fine looking pass and he's gone into an illegal position unfortunately and they will make the change now Federico Valverde and Bellingham Rodrigo Bellingham 
Lucas Vasquez. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Vinicius. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And they are committed to making the substitution here. Still be problematic. Vinicius Jr. The supporters want to see him have a go. Mbappe. Mbappe with it. An alert piece of defending. Kunde. Gabi. Lewandowski. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Will they profit from this situation? Well, defenders back, but still in possession. Kunde. Lewandowski. Gabi. Well, they're keeping... Must score! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. <laughs> They're making a change. <laughs> Playing it in. That's a routine take. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Gabby. 20 minutes to go. Lewandowski. Gabby. Jules Kunde on the ball. score soon time is running out but these fans can sense the winners coming well it did look promising but no threat in the end now breaking at pace potential danger Danny Olmo real chance oh a smart piece of goalkeeping and they can't be separated at the moment. Well, what an important save that is. He's just got his team out of trouble there. And short it is. Cross could be useful. Well, thumps clear. Martinez, wonderful block. Alex Balde. Lewandowski. De Jong. Eric Garcia. Good tackle. Well, can Real create one more big chance to win this game? If they do, this stadium will erupt because these fans have been brilliant today. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. De Jong. Garcia. Frankie De Jong. Gabi. Lewandowski. 
And they do! And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. It ends in defeat for Real Madrid, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Well, Danny Ormo, such a talent, such a great technician, and didn't disappoint. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal.